I'm gonna. Well, I was gonna do Bluetooth earphones because these normally hurt my ears, but they're not today. We're right back. I need some water. Oh, okay. It's a great time right as I hit record to go get some water. <laughs> um, I planned out a rather large dungeon in the anticipation that it would take a whole session or longer if you're really enjoying it. And I like poured through your character sheets to figure out what each of you are good at so that you have to work together so it couldn't be just be one person who just storms through the whole thing. Thank you. I've never played very combat heavy characters. Like it's, it's kind of like a habit. Like I haven't really gotten into that yet. Um, so thank you for doing that because sometimes it's like, well, I get the fun of combat. Like I'm there too, but mm -hmm. I'm not always the most proficient in that. <laughs> I, I've got um, all different kinds of, of yeah, skills that you can uh, that you can use. So, uh, and as Zach likes to say, I have the attention span of a goldfish or a <laughs> raccoon. Really, I have the attention span of a raccoon. You <laughs> really are a raccoon. It's just. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think you you don't go dumpster diving like a raccoon does. So, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing. <laughs> Is there loot? In okay, okay, so I don't work in the stores, but I do work for Goodwill. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> so. Well, I'm a Goodwill. She hangs out with a lot of homeless people. <laughs> I was going to say, I work with the chronically homeless, so literally, if y'all are getting rid of anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, that went a direction I wasn't expecting. <laughs> I might be kind of a raccoon. In fact, she will raccoon out sometimes, as I call it. Um, and I let her know that she's raccooning out by singing, I came in like a raccoon ball. <laughs> well, because she does sometimes come in like a wrecking ball, but she's a raccoon about raccoons it. like wash their hands before they eat, though. That's like kind of cool. She clean. She just I'm just disorganized. <laughs> Right on. Um, glad we covered the topic of raccoons right off the bat. Get that out of the way. I think Dodjo might be a little late, sounds like, so we can go ahead and get started, I think. Um, we paused in combat, which I know was not ideal, but it was Elvira's turn. We, we made yes. sure of that. Eli became my, uh, my note studier. I, I, I just back. looked up the I literally just looked up the video of the last session. <laughs> um so Elvira, you are at the um uh, I lost everyone's um I uh, on ours. Like I'm up in the top left corner of the tiny room. No, That's correct, yeah. The session oh, has that too. Uh, let me let, let me let me look that back up. Thank you. Uh, you got to roll like a 17. I rolled pretty good oh, on mine. My... it's back. It was an 8. It was an okay, 8. Yeah. It's back. I got so it yeah, back. yeah, Gary's 18. I'm, yeah. I don't know what happened, but I have the numbers again. So it's on Elvira, and then we'll follow up with Guy. And what is it that we're fighting again? It is skeleton a... Skeleton Minotaur. Minotaur ah, yes, skeleton, yes. A Skeletor. Skeletor. No, oh, that's somebody that's else. Sorry. Skeletor. <laughs> Skeletar. <Wow. laughs> um, he was the one who barged in after you so carelessly just busted down a door. No, we, we <laughs> busted zero, that down very methodically. <laughs> with zero regard for the noise it made. <laughs> bang! Bang! No, he knew it was making noise. And then clunk, 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 these walking bones, bone, uh, constructs come towards you and you just like yeah, wiped the floor with two of them and then the the one that was a little bit bigger and a little bit meaner came out guys we're here to save the undead by killing the undead <laughs> so we'll pick up with elvira then since See, we can call these the hodgepodge because it looks like they just got thrown together <laughs> <laughs> all right um Shoot y'all, sorry. Oh, no problem. No problem. 
Um, I am messing up. It's an unmedicated guy here today. Yes, I agree. Okay. Alrighty. You know what? Let's start off with the fireball. Do it. I can't believe my cantrips hit harder than one of my spells. It is like that sometimes. 2d8 or 1d10. Oh, no, 2d8. Never mind. Okay. I'm going to do chaos bolt on this one because I haven't cast a spell in a long time. Yeah. The 16 hit. I'm checking. I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, that hits. Woo. Okay, so knocking things over. Two d eight. Uh, four plus eight, so eight is one, two, three. And what does chaos bolt do? What is that damage? It does okay, so it, it, um, it right. So, but what it is is it depends on like so. My damage roll is 2d8, right? So I got a 4 plus 8. Just overall 12 damage. But I take what the last number is and essentially read that on a chart. So this time it's uh, 12 thunder damage. It, it essentially randomizes the type of damage. Right. I love so it's that. chaotic it's every so time. Cool. Um, so had 4 come second, it would have been 1, 2, 3, 4. And that would have been 4th damage instead of thunder damage. I love that. That's such a cool idea. True. I mean, you can also hit one, like, the last time I rolled, it didn't do well because whatever I was rolling against was immune to that damage. It was like poison damage or something like that. So, you, uh, do you, can you explain to me how Chaos, chaos Bolt works? Is it, is it somatic, verbal, material? Like, what did, what does it have? The VSM or? or the vision and... Oh. A verbal and somatic. I just have to have a can for you. Somatic would be and like. Gesture and gesture magic. Yep. So I. Some, some Naruto uh, stuff. Just shove this bolt of lightning through the the Minotaur. It uh, it impacts right where the heart would be, and you see the lightning just dissipate through its ribs and just sizzling. The thing. Uh, stands erect and straight and goes <laughs> for a moment and then it then it gathers itself and goes <laughs> in return. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think I did some damage to it. <laughs> you you made it mad. Go ahead, guy. Uh, yeah. Elvira, if you want to move, feel free. I, I'm going to oh, yeah. kind of like just let you guys move because I know you know the rules on that and I don't want to like have to complicate things by asking if you want to move. I mean, if, yeah, if it's not going to come after me, I'm good. I don't need to make a move. We're in a small spot anyway. I don't know where I'm going to go. Yeah. So uh, And so where, where where Elvira and Petal are right now, they're still within my range of my protection thing, which which just Ooh. came in really handy. I forgot about that. Cool. Yep. Yep. Re remember I used yeah, it last time cool. when you charged? Um, Vaguely remember that, yeah. I've had a lot happen since last Friday. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, what am I doing? I'm attacking. Why? Whoa! Why did I roll two? What? <laughs> I didn't mean to roll two. That's two weird. Three. Wait, wait, no, wait. Okay, do I just use the first one? I'm confused. What happened? <laughs> I oh, roll. It's because too you, many dice. It's because there's a column for how many, so you clicked on two instead of just on the d20. So okay. I'll let you pick which of the two you want. <laughs> okay. Um, I will take the five, which turns into an eight. Unfortunately, that misses. What are you attacking with? Is it your, um, your sword? Yes, my sword. Um, instead of like actually slicing anything, it just it goes right in between the ribs. Just right yep. in, a, in a, in a, goes right through where there's just thin air. There's no flesh to cleave, and uh, the Minotaur just kind of grins at you. I don't say grin if it doesn't have any face muscles. Uh, that's a good point. It tries to grin with its bones. <laughs> uh, pedal. Yes. I was just looking if I have any options besides 
retreating and I really don't. Well, no, don't don't retreat because then you'll be out of range of my. Well, you. He also opens up to an attack opportunity to retreat. Well, yeah. but it's that it's either it's either I take the attack of opportunity and back up a little bit, or I have disadvantage on my combat check, and I kind of like to put him down. So yeah, I'm going to take that opportunity, that attack of opportunity, and back up. A do, do, do. I'm guessing an eighteen hits. Eighteen hits. Okay. What is it? It is No way. What? Um it does seventeen damage. It do you like that someday? Oh, oh man, it's a uh, slashing damage. I don't know if you, if that matters. I don't in have case. any resistances. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> um. So pedal just got clipped, real good. Yeah. Real, real good. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. He was got flat on the hang floor. On. Like, with it every hang day. on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh. Uh, does... Oh, his AC is modified by your spell, isn't it? When a creature you can see attacks a target... Okay, okay, so I, ju I just took my turn, right? So I have yeah. my reacting back? I think... Yes, yes, you do. Okay, I would like to impose disadvantage on the Min Minotaur's attack. Okay. Or, uh... Ooh. Uh, he got a higher number. Uh, nope, same. So, same number because he rolled higher the second time. Oh, uh, good try though. Appreciate the uh, attempt. It's okay. Um, I don't get a bonus action, so I'll just uh, make a longbow attack. Okay. For a natural twenty. <laughs> Go ahead, double your damage. <laughs> Maximum damage. Oh, 32 teams. No, 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 it already doubled it for me. Okay. Um, so that'll be 16 points of damage. How do you want to do this? Um. So, I want to, like, jump up and, like, kick off of him like I'm jumping backwards. He's going to, like, slash me with his axe. Like, before I even hit the ground, I'll, like, poof, right into his brain. <laughs> The thing just it it disintegrates into this fine bone meal on the ground as your axe just pummels it into 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 undeath into real death I guess again <laughs> <laughs> uh, the headless body of a minotaur lays on the ground sprawled before you a little bit cracked a little bit broken its head is just just demolished. And you are out of combat. I would like to take a short rest, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I have some healing potions. Be my guest. I'm not. If we take a short rest, I'll be fine. I just need to. Like, it's like you feel like a gash, like from shoulder to hip. <laughs> it's just like holy. It's like I just. It's cool. I just. I need. It's like a nap. Like like a thirty minute nap. I'll be just good. a flesh wound. Right. Just a flesh wound. <laughs> uh, uh, guy, are you hurt? I think I am. Okay, um, I didn't get hurt, so if y'all want to take a short rest, I will keep watch. Yes, I, I am also hurt, so a, a short rest would be greatly appreciated. Taking that, taking that Great idea, I'm actually going to do something smart for once and track your XP that you're earning as you earn it instead of after the game. Here we go. Um, unfortunately, I rolled two hit dice and got exactly 17 hit points back. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm back to full health, baby! Hey, that's, yes. that's good um, for you. That's good, that's good. Okay. okay. Power nap for the win! <laughs> uh, I had to take can, one of those so, earlier. But, so, how, how, do, how does this work? Do I have, can I roll one die and then another die? Or do I have to roll what, or do I have to choose the die that I'm rolling simultaneously? You can roll them one at a time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go. 
short rest. Yeah. So you get. Was this your. Uh, okay. Your hit dice you're rolling? Yes. Could you do three each? Uh, wait, I, I add. Uh, hang on. I add my constitution to those. Only your first first level. Unless you got a specific perk, then you can add it each level. But right now, you don't have that perk. I believe I what? remember that correctly. Or feet, not perk. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm pretty sure you get you add your constitution to each to hit die. I, oh. I, I think I. I know that I just looked it up and uh, I just looked at my I might be, roller. I might be confusing and it did that with something else. Yes. Okay, do that. Go ahead and add your constitution modifier then. Because I Do both of them or just one? Both. I, I oh. well that's when I rolled it D D beyond, it added a plus two to my roll, and I rolled two hit die, and we have a plus one constitution, so I assume it's Oh, okay. I was. So that would be... I I actually got it confused with rolling health increase for leveling up. So that was my bad. I got the two. Dude, there's so many rules. There are so a lot of parts. rules in this game, aren't there? If you hadn't have asked, I wouldn't even have noticed that it put on the plus two. I, okay. I didn't even know that. I didn't. I forgot that that was a habit. I rarely rolled it. Like I know the Star Wars dice puts you in a weird like position as a DM with like setting up interactions and stuff but like the simplicity of it it's uh it's so nice yeah that okay is nice. i i have recovered a hopefully sufficient amount of health you can always keep rolling no no because uh i i only have like two health left to regain well <laughs> and, like, so, yeah. right on what what do you guys want to do next you have a door that's like off its hinges in front of you, and there's a staircase leading down. Uh, and then um, straight ahead of Petal are some unexplored rooms. I, I was going to say, maybe like during our short rest, where we're just all kind of catching our breath, I was going to like have a private conversation with Gary. Ah, okay. Like, hey, man. Yes. Something that I found recently went missing almost immediately. As far as I can tell, you're the only person that knew about it and would have been in a position to take it. And given the fact that we're on this quest together, we'll be traveling a while, I'm willing to overlook a mistake if it's returned immediately. If not, I'm gonna, I will respond in the way that I feel is appropriate based on where I come from. And at that point, it's just what it is. Uh, he's like, I'm, I'm gonna go with yeah, should, yeah, should we? Gary's, make... Gary's not sure what you were talking about. <laughs> Wait, Elvira has her back turned, but she is side eyeing everything. Oh. Like she's listening. I should have him do a deception check against you if he's going to do that. No, 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 no. I, we, we, I, I'm sorry. My bad. I didn't. I wasn't thinking. We should wait for his player character. Yes. Yeah. I was going. I was going I, off. I'm of, sorry. I was going off of what he had talked to me about. But yeah, I agree. yeah, no, 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 no. We'll, 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 we'll have that conversation when when his people agreed. Uh, he probably will be here in like twenty minutes. I'm guessing. No worries. Um, um, how about you check out the rooms in front of you? Just hint, hint. Abs- oh yes, I that was my next. <laughs> I am here for the loot, baby. I have more animals to buy at some point. I'm sure. Let's go. <laughs> And I will need a. Oh, are we going? Phones. Are we going to the? Or down. Listen, I had to kill a whole bunch of angry things to be in here, and we're going downstairs. Okay. Piss off the DM. So yeah, I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move you to the next map then. Actually. Okay. 
this is the one that I put a lot of effort into. Oh yeah, didn't you say something about us using like the WASD to move characters um, instead of click and drag? So if you use your your uh, arrow keys, it'll move one space at a time. So what I'm going to do is have you guys move at your total movement speed for this portion okay. of the crawl. And how how do we rotate? Um, I think you just have to click and rotate it. You click on it, and there's a little okay. thing to the the doodly do to turn it. I don't know how to do that with the keys, but the oh, um, so is that we don't move like 800 feet in one second? Exactly, exactly. Also, the only ones of you can who can see right now are the ones who are either holding light or with dark vision. So currently, I'm going to say that Gary is no longer making light. He was. Um, because he had his sword yeah, really lit. Uh, Cassandra does not have dark vision. Elvira does not have dark vision. Guy has his sword, but it's only sh letting out light if he chooses right now. It is pitch black where you just walked in. You're walking down some stairs. You know what? I'm... I'm... So, so Petal and Elvira have dark vision? Just yeah. Petal. Petal. The only one we can see anything right now is Petal. Gary does too. Okay. Um, but I'm uh, I'm ruling him out right now because he's not here. I'll just have him catch yeah. up with you when when you get a chance. Okay. Although just remember that uh, Minotaur got split three ways. Yep. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> that's funny like i'll grab his shoulder and then guy can grab my shoulder because if we okay. have light we might be attracting things if he can just see he has yeah. light goggles essentially well let's just make a chain yeah yeah chain chain sounds like the best bet how, how does that can you explain to me what you're doing i didn't understand so what i'm knowing is because pedal has uh, the dark vision. I don't want to like turn any lights on to like attract attention to ourselves. So I'm just gonna like grab like either the back of his jacket or his shoulder or something, and then guy's gonna grab my shoulder. Can I actually be in the middle because of my protection thing? Yes. All right. Cool. So yeah, Good and call. a chain. Okay. So we'll well, don't worry, guy. If I see something really big and scary, I'm just gonna step out of the way so you can take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> Cassandra will bring up the rear. Uh, that it's not a spider. Man, I can I can throw shield. Hold on, let me see if it'll cover all of us. It won't. It's not covers you. Oh, that's right. Never mind. Cassandra will be rear guard, I guess, and watch watch behind you. Oh, yeah. What does Cassandra do? She is basically your healer wizard. Oh, cool. Yeah, she's your medic. So if things go really sour, she can come in with her staff of healing and and cure wounds. She, nice. can, she can technically do even better than that, but she's not high enough level for it yet. So. Um, All right, I'm gonna keep creeping on. I'm gonna let. Want you? Um, can you see where I just ping? Yeah. You can go through there free of movement speed. You don't need to count your movement speed for that. Whoa. Um, I will let you move your characters from here. This is this is just part of my little narrative thing. So you see a hallway in front of you, um, and right in front of you there's a there's a solid wall, but there the passage continues to the right. Oh, you're in the wall. There you go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, do 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 you have to do the click and drag pedal? I don't uh, have to. Well, uh, I mean, how how did you turn your character? Oh, if you, click. if you click, yeah, if you click on your character okay. um, to the back of it, a little box pops up, and you just grab that. And... Okay, so you so you have yeah. to click and drag that. Again, blank, empty tunnel in front of you, but it does take a sharp right turn. Do you want me to control Vira, Liz? Uh, yes, please. For right now, I still can't say anything, so... I'm gonna peek around this corner and see what's happening. Okay. In front of you, immediately you see something... Uh, are you familiar with the term brazer? Yes. So, do you see a an unlit brazer in front of you? 
Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna whisper back that there's a there's an unlit brazier. Um, it's full of charcoal, just primed to be lit. If you um, if you played Skyrim, you know when you walk into the into the crypts and the dungeons, you find lit braziers, and I'm like, I okay, think I'll have unlit ones because that makes more sense, but. That is how presumably this place was lit at, at some point. Was you, guys want, you guys want to light some fires and just give up on stealthiness, or do we want to keep doing this pedal leaving the blind thing? Well, I mean, it's uh, worked pretty well so far. I mean, I'm good with it. Yeah, let's keep going with this. Okay. All right. I am not going to warn them about the spider web. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just going to, like, duck underneath it and let them just catch it right in the dome. No! Ah, ah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, sorry about that. No worries, I think. Sure. You, you can't tell, but Pedal is, like, giggling quietly to himself. <laughs> Uh, in the south, some people go hiking with a stick so you can wave it in front of you and get rid of the spider web before in you your move path. Forward. This is the horseback riding. You uh, would walk with those okay. sticks and the horse deer. All right. Um, Pedal, as you are walking past the, uh, the spider web, you feel something crawling on your shoulder. And before you can react, uh, you feel a, well, I'll describe what it feels like. It's, um, it's kind of gross. It, it feels like fingers on your shoulder. And let's see what it is. The other shoulder? The one that I'm not holding? <laughs> I still got his hand. Yeah, it dropped down. Well, on you his do that shoulder. Um, it doesn't do any damage to you, though. It definitely attempted to. Um, nobody sees it. <laughs> Unless you want Bro, to. You do not need both hands, okay? What? You don't need, you don't need no. both hands. It's fine. I, I'm not. My other one is on my scabbard. Immediately look to my other shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> there is a crawling hand on your shoulder. It is it's got this disgusting grotesque skin that's peeling off. There's like it's mostly bone. Uh, a lot of the muscle is is eroded. It's just this zombified hand that's that was crawling on your shoulder. It falls off and it gets stuck in the web and it's like wriggling around. Um, all, all, all guy can tell. What is it? Don't tell me. What is it? Don't tell me. What is it? Don't tell me. What is it? What happened? What happened? <laughs> no, no. Is she good? No, no. We're, we're I think. We could. Okay. It's very funny that that was a hand. I thought it was a spider. Um. What? Is that better? A is that hand? better? Yeah, a it's not a big hand. Can we have spiders? Can we have spiders? I mean. Undead are not that scary. They're kind of dumb. This one, I'm gonna like pull out an arrow and like poke it a couple of times with the arrow. With like <laughs> one poke, the thing just like kind of go. It just goes and it just falls over and it stops moving. Uh, it has like two health points. <laughs> are there undead spiders? No, it was not a dead spider. Know. It was a, a hand. It was walking around like a spider. Oh, what? Okay, so, but mm, I don't want to ask, but I got to. Where did the hand come from? It fell from above, so we should probably be aware of that. <laughs> at this point, I would like to look it up. And just... No, Byron's looking at the ground. <laughs> um, you look up. There's really not much above you. There's a stone roof. Um, it does look a little crumbly, but other than that, pretty much what you'd expect for. Um, um, what am I trying to say here? What you'd expect for just an old, decrepit dungeon. Okay. Okay. Apart from well, the spider the web. I don't see any more of them, so just, you know, 
be aware that that's a thing that exists. As the old proverb says, let's not invite the devil. He usually just shows up anyway, so let's go. Let's go. Right. <laughs> Keep on trucking. Okay. Your passive perception's high enough. You see something in front of you. You're not sure what it is immediately oh. upon just perception. And the world perception? I think investigation if you want to know what it is, but you do perceive it. You know something's there, you just don't know what Your it is. Your passive is high enough. You do perceive there is a skeleton on the ground yeah. on the other side of it, though. I got a 14 on investigation. Okay. You see a burned patch and on the ground. A briar patch? A burn patch. Like uh, black okay. with soot. Okay. Um, I'm going to take an arrow out and shoot that skeleton and see what happens. Okay. It hits the skeleton right in between the eyes. Its head goes back and nothing happens. Can I what stick around it? this? Can I leave us around this bur this burnt patch? There's definitely a little bit of space that you could do that, but it's going to take. What is the dexterity one? Is it acrobatics? Yeah, it's going to take an acrobatics check if you don't want to step on the burnt patch. Will my compatriots have to make that at disadvantage? They will, because they can't see. You should be a gentleman. Lay down your coat so we can walk over it. Mm, I'm more worried about a, a, a fireball trap. That that was my fear. Usually burn patches don't just show up places without people casting spells. What do you see? Ooh, I have to get a spell for that. Well, there's a, there's, a, there's a burn patch on the ground. I think it's a trap. I don't know for sure. There's a skeleton over there. I shot it, but it didn't move, so I think it was just a regular skeleton. Not like... Her skeleton. detect magic <laughs> To see if there's any booby traps? Detect magic Ooh. might work, yes. Oh, that's smart. If it's a magic trap. Yeah, like if it's like a magical, like... It could just be like a regular flamethrower. Could be a regular flamethrower. Right. Just your average run-of-the-mill flamethrower. Like, like... Listen, when you're in a party with Gary, it becomes very routine. It does. It is normal for things to just spontaneously combust. That's, <laughs> that just happened. Um, Alright, so I casted it, but it didn't tell me anything, so... Oh. Okay. Is there any magic about... Uh, well, well, what was your role? <laughs> I'm just curious. I don't know, because I hit cast and it didn't say anything. Well, so, then you just... Like, for the duration, you sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of you. If you sense magic in this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in the area so, that bears magic, and you learn its school of magic, if any. So it's then, not a role? No, it's just like a passive effect that lasts for, what, 10 minutes? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 wait, wait, wait. minutes, wow. No, no, no. It, I think it is only 10 minutes. Sorry, it's 30 feet from you. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, uh, you... The spell can penetrate most barriers, but it is blocked by one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, or a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of water dirt. You sense, just ahead of you to the left, that there is something out of place, perhaps dangerous. I detect the school of magic. You you detect uh, you detect magic. Yeah, you, you know something. Okay. Something destructive. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I warn the group. I'm like y'all. There's something. Uh, what at our uh, ten o'clock? If you do an Arcana check, you can get more info. I'll, Up into I'll... the left. Um. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Oh, good. Okay. Is sixteen? Yes. Uh, you recognize that there is some form of fire spell that is um, not embedded, but there's, there's like a probably like a fire rune or something. And that oh. on the left side of this hallway, if you were to step through there, you would probably set it off. I think you're right, Guy. Can you light your sword real quick? Right. Can you, can right. you turn you it off and on it, Will? Yeah, uh, yeah, do I have to sheath it to turn it off or can I just like hold it up and be like I think we had it so if you sheath it completely it's off but if you have it like open a crack it lets light out if you want it or take it all the way out whichever you prefer but when you just, just enough that we need not yeah 
Yeah, yeah. okay, so uh, I'm, I'm going to, like, take it, draw it halfway? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see, Half- um, Petal and Elvira both see in front of them, well, I guess, Guy, you do too, you're close enough. Uh, you see a, an, an or, a faint orange inscription upon the floor, and it is in this tile here. So I will, I will draw it for you. There is a fire rune right here. And if you were to step on it, it would presumably light you on fire. I, I'm definitely going to avoid that and keep Perukin. Okay. Same. Excellent. My puns oh, are full. Um, <laughs> what do I got? What do I got in my inventory? Uh, don't forget to grab your arrow from the skeleton. I don't. Know. Oh yeah, th- yeah, yeah. Yeah, coming up pretty shortly here is the uh, is an end at the end of the tunnel you're in with a with a right turn. Which you should just uh, be able to barely see. I'm really liking this dynamic lighting. This is this is fun. I don't really have anything. What are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for something to like mark the room on the oh. wall so that, like, when we, if we come back through at a high rate of speed, we know, like, oh, this is where that thing is. Watch out. Let's see what Maybe we can lure an enemy back over it. Maybe if one of us has ropes, we can just like clothesline. So like, we'll know it's there. But also, if anything comes behind us. Cassandra is. Uh, it, is going to go up and grab the, the skull off of the skeleton and very carefully just set it right here so that you'd have to trip over it in order to get step on the fire room. Okay. Cassandra, I am really glad that you are smarter than I am. Good looking <laughs> out. You had the idea, she says. I just uh, I just made do with what was, was here. Um, Hopefully, uh, Billy will here will keep us from stumbling back into this. And if we get lucky, and uh, you know, if we get into a bad way, we can potentially lure an enemy over it. Um, Let's put him right there. Et voila! Awesome. All right, I want to keep. I'm going to keep on keeping on. Let me pop back over. All right, uh, I'm going to re re fully sheath my sword after we're past that. Okay. Darkness. To resume the conga line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, larger room up here. Indeed. See some spider webs. All right. Okay, so in front of you, you definitely see spider webs. Um, I'll just describe the other stuff because it's maybe not so clear. Those are vines on the ground. Lots of sprawling, yeah. very large and dense vines uh, that seem to have crawl, uh, crawl, blah, 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 crawled through the roof and kind of down through the walls and now are all over the floor of this opening that's now in front of you. You're not sure exactly what the room is. Okay, guys, guys, watch out for the vines. I read this book about a group of young wizards one time that got trapped by the vines. Anyone read Sorcerer's Stone? <laughs> yeah. What? And the dungeon. Um, you ever read Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter? No. At the very end? Okay, never mind. They get trapped uh, in vines. If the more It's like quicksand. The more you move, the more I they fight you. What I don't they know what they call it. Um, it's like sat- Satan's vines or devil vine or something, something like, that. like that. Satan's devil's vine. No, yeah. Devil's arms devil or something weed. like that. <laughs> devil weed. Yeah. <laughs> That sounds like something Devil's else. Lettuce. Devil's lettuce. Yeah. Are you hitting the electric lettuce again? I'm about to. Me? I just don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, let's have a perception check from whoever wants wants to. I got you. Don't kill yourself, Zach. 
We all got that yeah. sometime, right? <laughs> 21. 21. Excellent. Okay. Now, here's what I forgot to say. It's going to be a disadvantage. <laughs> because it's in the dark. I forgot to mention that. That makes sense. I'm sorry. That's my yeah. bad. Well, does an 11 pass? Just slightly. Um, Elvira, you see a little something in the middle of those vines that looks kind of different. I'm going to point this out the pedal. Like, hey, hey. A bit right out there. of place. Right there. What do you uh, think that is, pedal? You're, you're seeing it right here. Okay. The yellow circle is. Hey, this is a bigger room. You got, I see a brazier down in the corner. Do you guys want me to go light the brazier? Yeah, let's do that now. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm going to, like, sneak along the wall down here. Okay, okay. I'm going to have Firebolt ready to go just in that direction. And I'll activate brazier. Like, guy, you just stay and next to me behind me. And voila, you have light. Isn't that cool? Isn't that oh, so yeah. cool? <laughs> I just love this. So much. It's so cool. Is there any way you could give our tokens like 360, 360 degree view? Yes. I think that probably is a good idea. It it seemed like a good idea to have it limited before, but I think it's kind of more of a complication than a... Than, yeah. So let me adjust that here. And... Is that, is that better? I don't want to step in there. I don't want to step in there. Yeah, that's perfect. I just want to get on the wall with guy and pedal. Okay. Um, let's let me check something real fast before we move. I just want to make sure I didn't forget something. Do we see the skeleton on the far side of the room? Yeah, I would say you do. Anything you can visually see, you can, uh, no like, on that. roll 20, you can see without a perception check. There's other things that might be unclear as to what they are, and I'll give you more information. And then there are hidden things that only I can see that I will reveal to you if you do perception checks. Um, okay. I just want to make sure... <laughs> Okay, you're good. You're good. Continue as you please. Um, okay, so I kind of want to get, like, a little bit closer <coughs> to, like, right there, right? And try and see if I can see. Now that you have light, you can do a normal perception check if you wish. or invest Actually, right. it might be investigation if you want to know what it is, I guess. Okay, yeah. Advantage because you have uh, Volo's Guide to Monsters. All right. You, you should still have uh, Detect Magic active. Oh, yeah, you do. Let me double check. I do. So sure. I got a 14 for my investigation. Okay, let me check and see if that. If there's any magic in. Uh, there's no magic. Uh, what You said 14? Okay. Yep. Uh, you spot in front of you what you know is a carnivorous plant. And it should be avoided at all costs. Huh? It should be avoided at all costs. Oops, it did not move. That was me moving it by accident. There you go. That is a carnivorous plant. So we got it's just a monster plant. It's just a monster plant. I would stay clear of the vines though. This Ooh, one I'm is, immediately gonna check my book. It's uh it's called a triflower frond. So um, what would one, happen? Dad, do y'all are y'all cool if I hit it with firebolt? I mean, what 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 if that like attracts more attention though? Okay, I see what you're saying. Zach, yeah. you're you're welcome to look it up if you want, since it's in Volo's guide. Uh, no, I was gonna say um, my my book the, the the list of ingredients that I got from the alchemist that he's looking for. I'm gonna be like, is did they do like leaves or petals off of this guy? Like, I'm seeing if I can make a little bit of money. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I definitely was not picking up. Um, it's okay. This one, I just became slightly inebriated. <laughs> 
let me actually check the the uh, stats. Maybe there is something that would be useful. Okay, it, it does have poisonous characteristics, so presumably the potion master would want some, uh, a couple of the uh, petals off of it. Um, ideally not singed. <laughs> uh, but, you know, maybe they have some value even if they are on singed. Cool puddle, cool puddle. Puddle, puddle, puddle. <laughs> right. I don't okay. I don't so I'm pretty sure we can make some money off of that. But I, I, if I'm if I'm reading this list right, the alchemist will pay us for petals. But I'm guessing, unfortunately, they probably don't want to burn. Which sucks because we have two pyromaniacs, one of which is always carrying like a war crimes worth oil on it. <laughs> um so that's unfortunate, but <laughs> Um, I think if we can like stand back and hit them with like force attacks or or, or anything like cutting is going to be pretty effective just like to avoid the big pedal mouth thing um, okay um, that's sorry. where the money maker is what, what, what does that mean for like my sword I have a short sword well I mean then you'd have to get right up in there, though, huh? Well, yeah, but, uh, you know, it's fire. I, okay, remind me. I can't turn off my sword when it's out? No. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's what, you could do, what you could do is cut a whole chunk of vine, and then we can go strip the leaves later. I was going to say, I was going to say, as long as we're not, like, starting a fire... I think the sword is good as long as you don't hit the pedals, right? Don't hit the money maker. Um, okay. I think okay. that would that would actually work really well. Yeah. Yeah, take out a chunk of vine. I'm gonna try to just get him in like the sensitive pull of you looking spots. I'm gonna sit around y'all with the sword and just whack off anything that comes to attack y'all. <laughs> I got you covered. Oh, I'm gonna stand way the frick back. Like I'm gonna be like over here, like way out of here. <laughs> I got a bow. Oh. I'm shooting it with my bow. It's just piercing damage. What if, what if we all just shoot it with bows? But how do you collect it then? Well, once it stops fighting, like once it stops like okay, attacking, kind of <laughs> I'm just gonna skin it out. Like oh, you're going to kill the whole plant. I thought you were just gonna like pick up the leaves. No, we're gonna kill them and take all the leaves, all the petals. <laughs> How about you? I don't need those petals. We gotta make some money bag. I bought so many animals. I do like Imagine if you had well, okay. a pet okay. plant as well. Wow, that would be something. Dan? On second thought, Shut maybe we mouth. don't all the way kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, okay, how about we all stand back, shoot it with bows, and then we go raid the petals, and maybe if there's any seeds or whatever, you can keep those. I, say, I like the way I you say think. we... I'm going to try and aim for, like, the base of the flower. Can I see that well? Yes, absolutely. Like, I kind of want to preserve the flower, because if the leaves are worth it, then, like, the actual, like, flower piece, petals and stuff. Well, the, the, we want the petals. That's what we're after. That's the money, the pedals. Okay, yeah. Yeah, sorry. If I said leaves. I got excited. <laughs> Pedal, like me. Pedal, going for the pedals. Same, same. Different, but same. Shoot the pedal. Okay, so we're so we're all gonna stand back, right? And and shoot at it with bows. What if can we all shoot at it at the same time? Oh, for sure. You could, and Cassandra can join you because she's got a crossbow. Mister God. So why don't we all roll attack then, I guess. Anyone who's doing Would this be at advantage because it can't really go anywhere? I'll allow it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I've wanted to say that no. for a while. <laughs> well good because my first roll was No, oh, wait. What? That that's not how that's supposed to go, is it? And my second roll is only a three. I can't tell what Cassandra actually got. 
Oh, yeah, she did get a 10. Um, so Cassandra hit. What did you all get? Elvira did not. Let's just say that. Okay. Uh, I... Oh, but you got a roll with advantage, Liz. I did. Oh, okay. Okay, so Cassandra um, did four. I got a um, 21. That I mean, I got a definitely hit. hits. <laughs> 10 or above hits. Okay, no, Elvira for did ten, not hit. For 10 points of damage. Okay, you killed it. Oh, right. So yeah. it's... It's in, uh, it's at, sitting at minus three. <laughs> I pull out, like, my, like, like wilderness tool, like, different sets of skin, and I was like, mm, this looks like it's good for pedals. Um, <laughs> and I would like to make a survival check. Okay. If you'll allow it to, like, try to harvest. Oh, yeah, these sure. Pedals. And look for seeds, too. How did you get all this random stuff? I Listen, I I live on the move. Like this, this is like crazy for you guys to be out here. This is how I live my whole life. Like, I don't, <laughs> like this is just the same same thing I do at home, just different place. I know Poppins over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know why you from me. Like, why the shade? I'm doing the right thing. I'm right. right. Like I'm, I'm, <laughs> kind of I'm, I'm not judging. I'm just it's a little bit shocking and freaking. I like, see this oh. as an absolute win. <laughs> right. Like I don't. I don't see where I'm catching shade for being a right. badass. I have resting judgy face. Just ignore okay. Me. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't think a check's even necessary. You're able to collect uh, nine petals, nine pristine okay. petals, and then. You're looking for seeds, like seed pods or something like that? Yeah, hang on one second. Nine. Quantity. Nine. Okay. And then, yes, I was going to look for seeds. Do I need to roll something else? No, no, you find three seed pods. Uh, they're like closed up. So you're not sure how many seeds are inside of them, but they're definitely something rattling inside of there. You said I found three? Yeah, three seed pods. <laughs> Someone's excited. We are we are fitting to have a boat that is operated by monster plant crew. Okay, like we're going <laughs> full stay wild up in here. That's this is my jam. There's a that a reminds boat, me a, 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 a dinosaur powered boat crewed by pl killer plants. Uh, this is way too much like when I used to play Ark Survival Evolve because I would make a dinosaur like mount and on the back I would put they called it like Plant X or something like that Species X and it could shoot projectiles and then <laughs> that's basically what you're I, uh, creating right now. <laughs> I used to carry around the shoulder monkey on uh -huh. our survival because they're a pain in the butt to catch. But they, they throw their poop at the <laughs> dinosaur. But it, it's actually good. It blind, like they, they're trying to blind it. Like, like it's dope. Like, <laughs> You're flying yeah, monkey. Like, to like, do that. Predator gun poop monster on my shoulder. <laughs> You gotta train the the flying monkey to do that. To fly over to the enemy and just oh. <laughs> just poop I face them. As as soon as as soon as we get we we get proficiency uh, in like pickpocket training and like sketchy monkey training. Um, as soon as we get like as soon as we get get like up to like Indian street monkey level, like <laughs> then we're definitely gonna talk about like you know combat. <laughs> I love that. That. <laughs> That's great. Um, yeah, well done. The the triflower frond is deceased and harvested. Um, in this general area, apart from that skeleton you saw, there's nothing else here that you can really see. Sorry, Liz was being distracting. <laughs> Uh, basically, apart from that skeleton, you don't really see anything else. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I'll keep trucking then. I'll, I'll, I'll sneak up here and peek around and... Oh, also... Wait, is, is, this, is this where we came from down here, or is this a different passage? Oh, no, I, yeah. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, that is a different passage. Correct, sir. So, I mean, I, we should probably check it all out. This goes back the way we came. So, I mean, do we want to check that out, or no, do we want to move good. forward? I say move forward. Move so forward. Yeah. I mean, the other thought is, if we had to come back in a hurry, we wouldn't want to have something at our back, right? That's true, but if we know the shortcut, we won't have to go back around to the the fire room. Well, I mean, like, I don't know if there's bad guys down there, but if we keep going and they might circle back and block us as we're coming out. Uh, like, I don't know, just maybe, maybe not, just a thought. I'm good either way. Do we see any more clues as to where this uh, bow of chills might be? Not that you know of, not right now. Okay. I know we're looking for that, but yeah, that's true. Like, if we're not barking up the right tree, then... Well, if you guys want to move forward, let's move forward. I'm going to whatever. We'll catch it on the way back or something, or... or, or yep, all right. Or if we, if we dead end up here. Okay. Let us progress. Okie doke. Oops. All right, we got, we got a fork, one narrow, it's like maybe a side road. Also, another skeleton. Can we, like, tell how the skeleton was died? Uh, you could yeah, investigate it if you'd like. Yeah, what's my autopsy skill? Is that going to be medicine or... I would... That's a good idea. That, the medicine's a great idea. I was thinking <laughs> investigation, but you could choose either of those. I think that would be fine. Well, Bones, let's go. I'll take investigation because I get a plus two or a plus one. But, uh, I will. I will. Can, can I help him on investigation? You on... may. Okay, yes. so he has advantage. Okay, so I can roll advantage. Dope. Well, that's pretty Jeez. sweet. That'll be a uh, dirty twenty. Okay. You see inside of the skeleton's rib cage a very um. It, it... It's difficult to notice at first, but as you're as you're searching, you, you see this very deep gouge in the in its um I'm forgetting what the what is that bone that is right in the middle of your rib cage? Uh, your sternum. Sternum, sternum thank you. Yeah. There's a there's a crack and a hole. And that'll kill you. And it is um it is shaped like a knife blade and it appears to have like the cut that would come from a serrated edge. Okay. I don't know. Um, let me let me think for a second here. Uh, there, the skeleton is laying on a like a pile of clothing. The clothing is like this old tunic uh, that is completely black, and it has a hood. Can I search the tunic? Sure. Yeah. I'm gonna All I'm right. gonna point this out. I'm gonna point this out to the crew. Um, uh, do I need to roll for that? Sure. This thing yeah. got shanked by a spider. Hey, Dojo. Hey. hey. Dojo. Let's catch oh, to the rest of the. Party. I accidentally hit investigation, Dan. Is that what you wanted me to do? Yeah, yeah, that's great. Uh, I got an eleven. You. All right. I am driving home. <laughs> Yeah, hey. glad to have you. You are delving deeper into the dungeon. You have found um, you have found and avoided a fireball trap, and you have found and okay. destroyed and harvested a carnivorous flowering plant. Um, and you are now investigating a dead uh, dead skeleton, not an undead skeleton. And actually, Elvira just learned. <laughs> that he is garbed in what would be uh, probably she would know with her sorcerer background that this is probably the robes of a necromancer. At least a minor necromancer. 
Someone who pr who practices that form of arcane art. Well, that's not sketchy at all, is it, fellas and ladies? And what has my character been doing during this time? I have had him following behind. Okay. Very carefully. All right. Yes, he has not, not been in danger. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your sheet behind you, Zach, just got a light I, mind of its own. Oh, Duncan just jumped out. He's just blacker than night, so you don't see him. Oh, is that what's <laughs> going on? Okay. Yeah, it looks like there's a ghost in the camera because like you can't see Duncan because he's so dark. It's weird. He has like a matte coat, so it does like absorb. It looks like a black hole. In the does camera. he just like mess with that sheet a lot? Sometimes that was just him. Just he's he's the size of like a freaking lion, so <laughs> up and jumps off and like, you know takes everything. <laughs> well, it's very fitting for the dungeon you're in that you find some ghosts. Right. <laughs> yeah. So you, you identify that the the tunic and and hood um, have something very evil to them. Um, your arc, your detect magic, kind of assisted with your understanding that it had something to do with necromancy. Well, yeah, I let the group know, like, y'all, this is some bad juju. This is just bad juju. Like, I'm not even going to search for anything. I'm not looting the thing. I'm not even touching it. Petal, there's nothing worth in there. There is nothing worth touching. I and mean, you're going to bring damnation on us all. No. <laughs> Don't do it. I will I will firebolt your fingers. <laughs> I will firebolt. You, someone touches it. Like, we have to amputate. Cut off the arm. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Are you not like? What are you like a clan? Like, come on! What is this necromancer robe attached to? It's attached to a dead guy, like a long time ago. Dead, dead skeleton. Oh my god! None of that. He's a. It's attached to a dead, dead skeleton. Okay, skeleton. Cool. Who got like stabbed in the chest with something serrated? So yeah. this may or may not be a good thing if there's someone down here working necromancers. What I'm not is gonna lie. My gut instinct is saying sacrificial dagger. I don't. I. I can't say for sure, but that's uh, that's where I put my money if I was back. Yeah. Guy, guy, guy just kind of realizes that he has no idea what a necromancer is. It's evil magic. So think of like Voldemort. Or you didn't read Harry Potter. Um, there's like, no, like in, in evil character. magic, like in, in, in character, like. Oh, in character. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. Oh, <laughs> you're good. You're uh, good. Which direction? evil, evil magic? Are you get? Have you decided evil which magic. direction you want to go? I thought we were going. Oh, at the fork? No. Uh, you, you guys want to go the skinny way or the wider route? It looks like they both go the same direction for now. Well, if we go the skinnier way, there should be left. <laughs> should be way. I mean, it, it should be less, well... <clears throat> I guess nothing in front of. Okay, but guy, guy is just trying to fumble over okay. his words. What if me and Gary, as the stealthy ones, sneak? Yeah, yeah he's small, so it, we can like we can walk in the same space. Me and him sneak down and just scout out the skinny area and see if it winds <laughs> out or it dead ends. Just kind of see if it if it goes on. Okay. Okay. What do you think, Gary? Uh, Gary is hiding, but listening, and, um, you know, trying to stay one room away from the party. Oh, okay. He's hanging back. Uh, all yeah. right. Okay, I wasn't aware okay, of that. Okay, so, so discount the part about Gary. 
Okay. Because well, that was what he was doing before. Uh, I mean, the little combat bit, you know, was not expected. He was not intending to uh, be engaged in combat and visible. <laughs> no worries, then. I will. So I guess uh, then I'll just do it. It's fine. <laughs> and I would like to sneak. Want something done right? Do it yourself. <laughs> right, I guess. Uh, it's going to be one of those kind of nights. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There, Dad Joe. Uh, Do you want a stealth roll? Yes, please. Not so good. Nine. Okay. Nothing yet. Sweet. <laughs> guy, are you, doing guy back? are you doing the Macarena there, guy? Hey, Macarena. Oh, um, yep. yep. You find another skeleton. This one, uh, very similar garb, um, similar, slightly different wound, definitely serrated blade. I need to step away for like five or so minutes and sing happy birthday to a cousin. Oh, oh okay. We'll uh, keep your character alive. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, so is, he, is it... I, I want to. I definitely want to. It's like okay. Well, you know what? I'm not as freaked out as she is. So yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get a little poke around. Okay. I want to investigate the corpse. Let's see what you got. You gotta be good. No virus out there. Not good. Five. You don't find anything different than on the last one. No. Move forward. Into the next room. Um, well, I was gonna go back at this oh. point because like I can see, like I can see that there's another, there's another like yeah, it splits off. A pedal went so, off alone to scout a little bit. The other three are hanging back. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna sneak back and like let the group know that like yeah, it, it it it's a narrow spot, but once you get through, it widens out. But it looks like it still goes the same general direction. Um. Okay. Very good. You want me to scout this way a little bit and tell you what happens, or or, or what? I'm good with it, yeah. Okay. I think that would be. I think Guy would agree too. Alrighty, then uh, let me do a st another stealth check to sneak down the next hallway. Come on, oh, it's not that bad. 14. Okay. <laughs> you get about that far and you see a something dark in the darkness. I know that's really great explanation, <laughs> but basically it your dark vision is like really low quality white phosphorus night vision. And as you see the just around the corner, there is something hazy blocking your vision seeing the wall on the other side of it. Something that almost like almost wispy. Just a little bit. Um, it's almost like a void. Yeah, kind of like a void. Maybe a little bit like a void. Um, I cast magic missile into the darkness. <laughs> it has a uh, almost like an aura around it that is is like very thin, um, like wisps of steam. But instead of them being white, they're just complete pitch black. I kind of want to sneak up to it and get a better look. Okay. This is going to be another stealth check then, because you're wanting to get closer. Okay. Uh, About time. That'll be a dirty 20. Sweet. Eli, real quick, to catch you up, he didn't find anything in the small tunnel, but now that he's in the big tunnel, he has found something wispy and dark just around the corner that is um, dark like a void. Okay, so you managed to get within, I'd say that's about as close as you as well let me see what I want to do here 
Your roll gets you this close. You're not sure if you can get any closer. Let's put it that way. Okay. Then uh, I'd like to do a perception check to try to, or investigation check, whichever feels appropriate. Figure out what this is. You can choose which one you want. I don't really care in this case. Okay. I'll go with perception. That'll be a 22. Okay. Um, You see in front of you something that you believed only to be legend. Or perhaps only legendary. Uh, This seems to be... You find the word shade come to mind. Shade? Shade. And it's this wispy, uh, incorporeal, uh, shadowy figure usually associated with necromancy. The undead spirit of a sacrificed being uh, forever wandering in wrath and it's, yeah, it's terrifying. Called it, man. I told you, bro. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I would like to sneak back to the group. <laughs> if that's an option. It is, yes. Yeah. You certainly <laughs> rolled high enough for that. I just wasn't comfortable with you getting all the way up next to it with that roll. Yeah, no worries. Don't want to get that close anyways. Uh, I will sneak back to the group. And, okay. Oh, if we go down the little tunnel, it's really narrow for a while, but it winds up. There's like a couple of other branches, and like maybe a little bit bigger room. I couldn't quite see that far. If we go down there, there is a nightmare. It's terrifying. Um, I think it's called a shade. By the way, it basically proves my sacrificial dagger theory. I just want to point that out. Um, but yeah, so what do you guys want to do? Are shades uh, there to protect things, or do they just kind of like randomly happen? Because like if it's there guarding something, that may be a clue that something is behind it. Why don't you I do mean, it? Let's have Elvira do a history check on that. Okay. Ooh, I'm actually really good at history. Or maybe not that good. Only ten. <laughs> that that is just fine. Um you all of a sudden recognize that on the wall next to you there is a um there's an inscription written into it um you can't really read it so well because the language is very ancient but um it, it it's very pictorial a lot like ancient egyptian i guess uh, you surmise that this is probably some sort of a tomb <laughs> Okay. Can't really get much more than that. You don't know what it's a tomb of. You don't know why it's got all these weirdly shaped rooms or passages or anything. But you gather that there's definitely going to be dead people here. Um, so do you think we're looking for a tomb to find the bow of shield, the shields, or do we want to not fight this, what's it called, shade thing? I heard uh, Gary had a question. What was the question, Gary? Uh, question is, is the skeleton recognizably human? Um, it's either human or elvish or something very similar to that. It's definitely humanoid. Can't hear you, bud. Okay. Um, yeah, I definitely lost him. If you want to type it or try again, uh, when I hear you or notice, I'll, I'll, I'll give you your answer. But I, I uh, yeah, I hit the, the bad reception spot. Ah, I hear you again. The uh, the question the question was, uh, would Gary feel like it's human as opposed to elf or something else? It's so far gone that you have no clue. Okay. All right. Yep. It's just kind of like vaguely bipedal, right? Like just like vaguely humanoid. Right, right. It's okay. it's so old that the bones are just they're very close to just kind of dry rotting away. Well, I mean, if I, I didn't I didn't realize we were robbing the tomb today. 
but uh, <laughs> it happens. while we're here, I figure we're probably gonna have to fight more than one shade. This might not be a bad way to figure out if this is uh, if this is the right time to do this, or if we need to come back with better stuff. Like we can, we can tell you know we can take on the shade if like we get our butts kicked, we hook it. Good thing we did it then and not deeper in, right? Like yeah. So uh, we actually have pretty perfect place it right here. So it's it's made out of shadow, right? So if we hit it with fire, which is light, will that kill it? Roll a an insight check with advantage for having Volos guide the monsters again. It has all kinds of information about undead, not specifically about shades. Uh, I got. Wait, it's insight. Yep. Uh, that is nineteen. Okay, you are very certain that that light and very likely fire will harm these things. Like we got this guy. <laughs> Let's go in there, towards the blazing. Gary is hanging behind you, and I'm going to have Gary's passive perception goes off. He notices that there are two wispy figures coming up the passageway that you skipped before. And I'm guessing that Gary's response would be to back away from them, probably. Take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ruh -roh. Raggy? I'm, Ruh -roh, Raggy. I'm gonna just do what's best for Gary in this moment and just move him closer to you guys. Uh and have him tell you, hey, there's two figures coming this way. Wait, 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 what? what you just spo you just spotted two more shades coming down a passageway, very slowly, kind of floating towards you. Well, obviously, okay. I'm putting the guy in front of us and going for the two that are actively pursuing us. So, who noticed the shades? You did. You did. Since you were distanced from the party, you yeah, you were the one who spotted them ahead of time. Okay. Um, we'll just go with a simple thing. Do I feel like they're evil? You you know they are evil to the core. Okay. Gary is going to rush one of them and throw a flask of oil <laughs> down at the base of it. That's not predictable at all. How close are you getting? Um, five feet away from it. What? Boat? They're two. Yeah. How far away from them are... Yeah, how far away from me are they? I mean, I had you at, like, 30 feet, but I could have you close... I could have you at five feet if you want. So, yeah, I am going to run up to five feet away from the, the nearest one. Okay. Throw that flask of oil at its feet and uh, try to light it on fire with a torch at the same time if I can. Do you want to use your flaming sword to do it? I do not have a flaming sword. Oh, that's right. We retconned that out. Oh, God, about that. Yeah. All right. It is something that Gary keeps on his belt. It's just torches handy. I had an idea, and I don't know how well you'd go for it, which was just to put, like, flint or, you know, flint and steel, like, on the belt so that he could kind of just, like, light the torch as he's lifting it, but I don't know if you'd go for that or not. Uh, I think hey, if you were in town, it might be a little too old. Hey, Gary, bud. <laughs> you want some help? So... As I they don't know that I'm fire better, right? the, so, yes and no. So I know you wanted to s stay back a little ways. It's not, this isn't, uh, you haven't even explored to a part where there's like separate rooms yet. You're more like in hallways. So they, you're kind of like within eye shot, more ear shot than, than within eyesight. But they would... She would clearly hear you smashing the oil flask and know which what was happening. Okay. 
Um, because ultimately I want to have that torch ready so that I can throw that and the bolt at the same time. Which I've allowed in the I past, so it'd be reasonable to light it on fire. Yeah. Okay. Elvira, maybe maybe that would be a good secondary attack right after that. Okay, cool. Um, and then once I've done that, I want to finish the rest of his movement and get back up to the party. Probably stand next to Pedal and say, there's a problem. <clears throat> Pedal, we have a problem. <laughs> Not even checking to find out like what happens to the shade, just straight up, you know, Bam, smash flask, light on fire, run, immediately gone, and then, you know, showing up and just like, there's a problem. Which is probably hilarious, considering they didn't see you. Yeah, up until now. (laughs) (laughs) Gary, enters chat, causes arsony, leaves, refuses to elaborate further, leaves. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pop back around the corner. Assuming I can see them, considering, like, we got the brazier lit and everything. Yeah, and you can definitely there. see them. And in okay. fact, um, they... They didn't even see what happened, because... No, they just, I'm not gonna tell you why. They just didn't see what happened. They know they're on fire now, and they're kind of, um... How do I put this? Their fire and shadow. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know how to describe what I have in my head. When I come up with the words, I'll say it. <laughs> I'm not I sure what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I'm just gonna. Well, we got to at least be able to get out of here. So, uh, <laughs> looks like this fight's on first, and I'm gonna. Like wave everybody over and try to kick it off with these two guys. I'm going to say this okay. as well. You hear uh, an unearthly uh, screech from these things. Not like a Nazgul screech or anything like that. It's very breathy. Uh, kind of kind of low. And it's really, really extended. It's just this long, breathy howl. <sighs> You know, kind of like that, but not not so old man man sounding. Horrifying. <laughs> yeah, horrifying. Definitely quite unnatural. Almost in the realm of supernatural. I mean, it is like so, a freaking Dean and spectrum. what's his face are just hanging out. You may. He said supernatural. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna okay. say this: the shades do not recognize that they were attacked. Because they are I not think pursuing it. They I think the floor just randomly burst into flame. <laughs> Does that mean we get a surprise round? You can, yes. <laughs> awesome. I'm very excited about that. Um, I guess I do kind of want to give you a little a little more. The reason they don't know is because they're covered in light and they have they have like they're vulnerable to light, so they can't see you. Oh. So they don't know that they were attacked because they can't see who attacked them. So so basically they're blinded. They're blinded. Yes. Yeah. There's a status marker for that somewhere. I don't know where it is, but. But they can't nice. see you. We're gonna wreck. We're, we're gonna wreck, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I would like to pop this off if that's okay with everybody. Yeah, go for it. Go ahead. Gary's just gonna get a nod <laughs> vigorously. <laughs> That'll be a seventeen to hit. Oh, oh wait, sorry, sorry. Before I before I shoot. I would like to cast Hunter's Mark. Oh. As a bonus act. That's right. Go for then, it. Then, I roll a 17 to hit. Okay, 17 hits. Uh, okay. Which one did you want to mark? Does it matter? Uh, the one that looks the most on fire. Let's 
say they're kind of equally on fire. They're really close to each other. So I'll say that one. Okay. That'll be... Oh, piercing, yeah. So eight piercing and six bludgeoning. Okay, so that one ends up... That one ends up KO'd. Let's see here. Okay. Neat. Hang on a second while I record that. Um, and in its place. Okay, so what happens when it dies is it it almost creates like this funnel of black cloud that sucks together. It rotates almost like a very small whirl and sucks down into the ground, it creates this puddle of <laughs> of uh, black mist right below where it was and behind it comes another that replaces it it is not on fire gary's gonna pick up another oil flask okay you may do that but let me give you an I need to tell you how far away you are <laughs> uh is it less than 120 feet <laughs> <laughs> where in the world for a while. Uh, it's thirty feet. Who can? Yeah. Who in there? Who? I'm sorry, but who can throw a oil flask 120 feet, especially somebody three feet tall? No. I didn't oh, ever he throwing. He runs up there, drops it, and then runs back. Okay. You have like yeah. a little slingshot shot for your oil. No, he's got like an at an all ladder. At, at ladder. At, at ladder. At, yeah. At ladder. Yeah. At ladder. Yeah. He played. <clears throat> Yeah. Lacrosse. So, yeah, he played he lacrosse. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, you've got to learn to lacrosse. It's fantastic with their reflexes. It's insane. Is that the one where they just throw the two bags across the field? <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Man. Man. It's a very loud game. All right, so this this is now in uh, this is now okay. initiative. Roll for initiative. Okay. I rolled a 21. Do my thing, or do I have to wait? You're gonna have to wait. I am sorry. Okay. All right. Deep there you go. Yeah, uh, deep 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 here. Okay. So here's how I learned a few things since last session. I I'm gonna have all the shades operate in the same number for initiative. They all operate separately, but all at the same time. If that makes sense. I'm also gonna okay. put Cassandra right there as well, so that it just makes it easier for you guys. So all the NPCs are gonna run at once, so your numbers do matter, but um I'm dead. <laughs> I hope everybody has backup characters. <laughs> uh let's see how far I got twenty one. I got a thirteen. Thirteen for guy. Thank you. Has Gary rolled? Working on getting D and D beyond up. Okay. No, I'm working on getting D and D beyond up. I can roll for you if you wish. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Cassandra gets a sixteen. You get a natural twenty, Gary. What? And pedal, did you put Gary is dead set yours? on lighting things on fire? <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot that I can actually enter my own. Uh, the shades get fifteen. <clears throat> I'm so much trouble, guys. <laughs> you seem I really think... scared. <laughs> Change of plans on my action, though. Okay. Um, you will come second, Gary. Elvira got a 21. What? I know, it's initiative. Okay. It's, it's a little different. <laughs> well, is it? So... Uh, how would you do it? Okay. If it were you, would you have the natural 20 go first? It is an, it's an init initiative roll. I mean, rules is written, well, there's like... The nat 20 plus 1? Yeah. That's how I got oh, 21. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, then, then yeah, totally. That makes sense. 
I, I'm just curious, like, what was the rule? I was out yeah. of the room. Well, I think you were talking. Oh, I, I, it sounds like we're talking about like if both people rolled a twenty, but one of them had a natural twenty. Should that matter? That's what I heard. That's what I thought too. Okay. And, and he goes like robot. <laughs> you, you've gone robot. I, I lost you. The shades got him, guys. Oh no. He it's like because I'm trying to load D and D Beyond. Bender? Yeah. Do not disparage Bender. <laughs> it's because I'm trying to load D and D Beyond. Gotcha. Yeah, Second to boot up, yeah. Yeah, he is kind of at a disadvantage with uh But yeah, mine was a net one. twenty one one. Okay, gotcha. All right, thank thank you yep. for clearing that up for me. Um, so, Elvira, you are first. Yep. Coolio. Um, so, has Gary already thrown down some oil? Not yet. He threw no. one down here earlier. It's currently on fire. And then lit that one. I'm okay. having it on fire for three times. <laughs> so, this guy's going to take a D4 in damage. But, yeah. Uh, I want so to I'm mention gonna... those vines can give you half cover if you wish. Half cover works as it's just a boost to your AST. Okay. Okay, oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Um <clears throat> Oh neat. I have a plus one to initiative as well. Anyway. Oh, wow. So how much? We would have had to do it's the tiebreaker. Tie. Anyway. May as well have her go first. It's fine. Because <laughs> I didn't know it until now, so may as well go with her. How much does it boost my AC? I don't I don't I'm not, I think it's two or three. Uh, okay. I would have to look it up because I don't remember offhand. I, I, the, we I can think, just go with two. It's fine. That's just a that's a guess. I have no actual idea. It might even be just plus one. Uh, if you just want to pull a number plus out of your two, brain. Plus two to right. AC and dex saving throws. Cool. So I have a 13 or a class now. All right, cool. Um, I'm going to, from behind the vines, shoot Firebolt at... The one that's like kind of on fire, but it's still in the hallway. Gotcha. So the one that's to the right of the black dot. Yep. This one right here. Yep. All right. And that's 120 feet, right? Yeah, you might want to move before. I'm, I'm going to move as like my first bonus action. I'm going to come on the wall, like right between Pedal and Gary. So let's see. Uh, he's kind of got a little cover from that angle. Just a little. No, if you go, no, if you go over here to this, like you go over here and take cover, because like that, that's where the that's where the cover is. Okay, yep. Is over there. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, yep. So I'm gonna stand right there here. Yep. There we go. Yep. I didn't. I didn't want that to be like an accidental misunderstanding. So that's what it would have been. Up. Thank you. Yep. For your patience. All right, and blast away. Well, <laughs> not so much. Only a ten. Only a ten. Um. I kind of just like sputter away, like sparks. Let's say it like, yeah, it does that. And it kind of like sets the oil spill a little bit further ablaze. It doesn't really do any more damage, but it, it makes, it like makes the flame just a little bit more brilliant. Like, now it's really bright in here and I will be happy to put a light source here as a result of that. Nice. Uh, move that too. Not for nothing, right? Yeah. Let me make sure I put that on the right level layer. There we go. You might notice something as I do that. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of them. That's like at least five. <laughs> let's 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 see if we let's see let's see how fast we can take him out. Maybe I did. <laughs> One shot, one kill the last one. I'm just throwing it out there. He was on fire, but maybe we can stop these guys. We don't know. Let's give it a shot. Let's not throw it right away. They might have loot. I don't know how to appeal to my fellow man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, is that the end of Elvira's turn? Anything else she wants to do? I'm good. Okay. Sounds good. Hey, Kel. 
Um, that brings us to Gary. Oh, Gary. Okay. So, Gary is going to use his rapier, his silvered oh. rapier, mm -hmm. and he's going to rush up and try and stab the nearest one and then run back to his original position. And I don't, I don't have a particularly, uh, I don't have my weapon on my sheet, so I'm just going to use the unarmed strike, I guess, for the the hit part. Uh, well, let me just look it up for you. I, I, I don't want you to miss out on that. Because we but I think it's like a D8. Mm, I still need to hit, though. 1D8, so... And I have a plus... Yep, but I still need to hit, though. Yeah, like, what's his hit die? Yep. Uh, are you proficient? No. Yes. Okay, so at least plus two. Yeah, uh, which is okay. what I have. Which is what I'm going to use for this one. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to gonna press the button. There we go. Neat. So, there's that. And then we're just ignoring the fact that it says unarmed strike. <laughs> I wasn't looking so, at this. Green, so you get a 19. That hits. You do 1d8 damage. Hit. Yeah, that definitely hits. Plus my 2d6 uh, uh, sneak attack damage. Yes. Wow, that's powerful. So, this is why you put uh, a rogue have, on your team. <laughs> so I have that, and then I don't know if it being silvered does anything in this particular context. You wouldn't know. Except that you just killed the guy. <laughs> so you can deduce yourself back. what that may entail, but he dead. And how much damage did how do you he want deal? how do you want to kill him? Um, just like uh, are they corporeal? Like do they do they have a body at all? They have no body. They're okay. No, no, they're spirit. So yeah, he just kind of like does this circle. You know, he just like runs along. You know, the the uh, like a, a half circle towards the death up to him. <laughs> comes by, stabs him, and runs right through him. Does not care, and then just runs right back to his original position. <laughs> I was imagining you like running in circles around him, stabbing him like five times, and then going back to where you were. <laughs> <laughs> I've considered doing that. Apparently, I can run three times around something. <laughs> All right. Very cool. Anything else? Nope. And he just returns to his original position. Okay, so that shade kind of makes a <sighs> sound, and it condenses into that puddle of fog again on the ground, just like the other one. So now and are the, is, is the puddle from the first one still there? It is. Yep, it remains. Oh, uh, that's not good. Uh, like that. It's more like, okay, so if you were to kill somebody and they dri they drip blood, that's what this is. This is like, oh, okay. It, you don't have it's to worry like about visual. it. It's, so this is like when you kill a ghost in Skyrim and it drops a pile of ashes. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like, exactly. Yep. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it coming back. No. Okay. I don't know. I'm not that mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know. Yeah, that's why Maybe you decided to be mean today. Yeah, Dan, Dan has decided to turn a new leaf and just get really mean. And for now some there reason. are six shades. <laughs> Dad's like, all right, enough seal clubbing. It's time to TKO the party. <laughs> Wait, TKO? Rocks fall. Everyone dies. <laughs> <laughs> Total KO, I think. That's what that means. TPK. Yeah, total, total party KO. Thank you, TPK. TPK, UTV, ATV, same difference. Um, I think those are all very different things, though. <laughs> ATAD. Cassandra oh. is going to load up a crossbow bolt and take a shot. It's going to go. And she gets a. Nine, which work, is a but shot, I guess. complete miss. It goes 
right into stone. A uh, well, actually, it goes right into a pile of boulders on the other side, and it goes ping, right off of that. Ricochets. You hear clack, clack, clunk, 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 as it clatters, and Cassandra's just like, "I'm gonna take cover," and ducks behind the vines. Moving to the shades. Shades. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Thirty-five. He's going to take one d four fire damage. Four. Uh, so Dan, question: Yes. Rick. Am I allowed to draw my sword when it isn't my turn? Uh, uh, I normally would say no. Okay. Uh, it's it'd be like a free action. I I, I like to think of it as a free action to pull your sword because. Really, how long does it take to pull a sword? Like one second. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't cause you to use an action or a bonus action to pull your sword. I just think that's ridiculous. I mean, I, I think it is counted as a free object interaction. Like, I think you're right. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm almost. That's the case. I totally agree with the rules on that, or rules as written. Three point five was a little rougher. Where most classes had something that negated it to a free action but if you didn't have it then it was like I think a half action that makes action. Sense. which is also a weird thing oh you would hate 3.5 I would hate 3.5 try it but you would hate it okay so um so three of them miss entirely with their attacks. Only one hits, and it's the one right up next to Petal. Uh, so Petal... Is that correct? Are you really... Uh, can, can I can oh. I use my reaction to impose disadvantage on Absolutely, that Absolutely, you may. Yeah. And let's see what he gets. Is this new roll to, roll to see? Uh, does a dirty 20 hit? I would guess so. Yes. It's no longer an at 20, so he saved you that. Oh, you did. It do be like that some days. Nine damage. Uh, necrotic damage. That's ah, not so bad. Your flush is only starting to rot. <laughs> Listen, man, it's not even like the worst yeah. thing's happened to me since I've gotten here. Remember when I started turning into a snake? That was weird. <laughs> yeah, weird, weird things happen. Fair enough. Uh, that's it. That's it for the shades. Uh, guy's turn. That was so much faster than how I would have done it before. Just group them together like that. I used to think that you had to have them all listed individually in the return order. Ah oh, man. I just, I just. Usually, really I would know. name or not name them. I would like, like number them. So I'd be like shade one, two, and three, and then they would just go in that order, but on their single, you know, initiative roll. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way too. Do you know what you want to do, guy? It's your turn. Oh, my turn. Um. Yes, I would like to take out my flaming sword oh. and uh, attack the one that is next to Petal. I'm gonna have. Um, yes, I just realized that one of those. Shades was supposed to roll at disadvantage, but it didn't actually matter. Okay, Descri describe your attack one more time, real quick. I was a little distracted. All right, I draw my flaming sword and I strike the one that's next pedal, and I get a nineteen plus three, so Ooh, that, that is <laughs> yay. And then that's do one one d eight. So that's. Two damage and then one d4 fire damage for three turns. Okay. All right. He's back to three turn. Well, so he just he just went through three turns of fire damage. Now he's got another three turns of fire damage. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Right on. Um, if that's it, Petal's turn. All right. Um, I would like to hop back a bit. I'll take the attack of opportunity. Okay. He gets a two. <laughs> <laughs> Which misses. That does not hit her. <laughs> um, and then, yes, I would like to use my bonus action to move Hunter's Mark from the ectoplasm of the last one I killed to this dude right in front of me. Okay. Bonus action. And I will longbow attack him in the dome. <laughs> Do it. 4 and 11. Oh. You just barely miss. Yeah, it do be like that. Your your arrow like just catches a wisp of its little aura and there's this little black trail behind your arrow as it clatters into the stone behind you. And actually your your arrow That's finally not me. <laughs> your arrow like hits the lit brazier behind you and sends up some sparks. <laughs> so quite last thing all my combat rolls missed. <laughs> <laughs> What was that, Eli? So these things are still blinded by light, right? They are, yep. Okay. I could uh, I, I, I kind of guessed that was coming. <laughs> I I kind of, sorry, I kind of spaced there. It's Elvira's turn. I was like, I for some reason still thought it was Guy's turn. <laughs> uh, you're muted, sorry. There we go. Firebolt again. Firebolt. Firebolt. Who? Oh, gosh, dang it. It's always right there. Seven. <sighs> sorry for the dramaticism. On D20, I'm... D and D Beyond, my thing has the thing that actually rolls the little fake dies in front of me. So like it almost hits D twenty every time and then it rolls <laughs> into... <laughs> It's right, not at all like off. a real die. It's way too slow. Dramatic. Um, right, it's terrifying. <laughs> you uh, so seven, I don't think it hits. No, you, it doesn't hit, but what tell me which direction you're aiming. So I would aim to like at least blind them a little bit, right? I think I would have that in the foresight. Are you going um, for the close one or the further ones? I'm going for the further ones, like keeping them away. So if I don't hit, is it okay if Elvira does like if you can watch the or yeah, roll twenty, just a sweeping like shloo, to keep all of them away. Yes, and I wanted to or, like, say in the middle of them just for like enough light to, like I think it would be very reasonable that you hit the vines and set the vines on fire. Oh, cool. And so now there that is nice. there is flame right there. Thank you. Five Ooh, by five of flame. Those five. <laughs> those red quickly. Um, El Gary. Gary's turn. <laughs> okay. So, um, are there other shades that are alive? Yeah, there are th there are four in total that that are in front of you now. And there's one that is directly in front of you that is currently on fire. Yep, five feet from you right now. Neat. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stab him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Make the um, choice. I don't know about that one, Chief. What was the number? Nine. Do you have any modifiers for that? Was it that the... is with the modifiers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a swing and a miss. Swing, bada, bada. Okay. So he just kind of like stabs at the one that's right in front of him, realizes that's not going nowhere, and decides to run up one of the nearest walls. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's your favorite technique, but unfortunately I have to nix it this time. The, the, the ceiling is about 10 feet up. So, I mean, you could, you're short enough, you're still going to be in reach of him. Does that change anything? I mean, that's... <laughs> Anyone catch that? Sorry, it broke up. No. It, it, still... 
Okay, it sounds Three like times. he still wants to do it. It sounds like he still wants to do it. Okay, still wants to do it. I'm gonna put him over here. I think yeah. that's probably that seems Three like what he wants. Where he's at right now. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well. Um, ba -ba -ba Cassandra, gonna take a shot with her crossbow oh. again. Oh. Oh, you got something else? Can I change my mind? Sure. Can I change? I'll, I'll allow it this um, once. <laughs> okay, I appreciate that. Um, I want to actually stand behind Petal for this. And then... It's kind of yeah. behind him? Yeah, that's okay. going to help. So... Doing some more shady with... dealings with Petal's belongings again? Gonna steal his gold this time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't think I can run. The, I don't think I can do this without showing it. So, anyway. Yeah, no problem. Okay, uh, I'm reading it. Oh, interesting. Okay. There's a bit of a typo, but I think I got it. You might want to check, make sure your phone didn't autocorrect. Oh, it did. Um, okay. Cassandra's going to take uh, a shot. Oh. She rolls a 14. Yeah, there was. Okay. Uh, it goes into the one that's directly in front of her. She does seven damage. Wow. Sandra, you're doing some damage. Moving on to the shades. They're all going to roll at disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Their first roll was amazing. All right, three of them miss. One of them gets a nat one, and so he ends up actually, um, because he can't do necrotic damage to his other like-minded shades i'm going to say one of them uh actually um just kind of loses and kind of loses track of which direction you guys are instead and he goes the wrong way uh one of them uh, the one that's up next to guy is going to attack guy and he's going to do i have so many stat blocks open it's ridiculous <laughs> okay. Do, do. Does a six hit? <laughs> no. It does not hit. Um, he reaches out with his strength drain, sticks its spirit hand out, starts like trying to draw energy from you, and you all of a sudden feel this ability to resist. At least this time. Uh, and some strange willpower that is that inside of you gives you the strength to uh, just just completely nix his his strength drain from you. And and, I, it's, and desperation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the 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 shade, which doesn't have much for facial features it's basically like a skull that's sh uh that's shrouded in darkness uh with may maybe kind of like these dark midnight purple eyes that are glowing with a little bit of flame it's an enderman <laughs> oh dear uh it if it Y'all are muted ender ghost like you said earlier with, with the skeleton if it had or the minotaur skeleton if it had the ability to frown it would but it can't <laughs> <laughs> it's disturbed but you're not sure how it doesn't have much body it language it gives off a general aura of frowniness yes it, it like it somehow becomes even more yeah. distasteful to look upon uh, which, <laughs> it's Guy's turn in, in uh, coming up next Guy's turn alright Guy uh, I can move after I attack right? yes yeah 
You can. Okay. You're probably going to take an uh, attack of opportunity from him, though. Oh, uh, right. Only if he's still alive. Exactly. Yes, that's right. Uh, I am going to attack with my sword. Oh, that's that's not great. Uh, a four does not hit. No, nope, no hit. Sorry. <sighs> it's a Canadian shade. Sorry. Huh. <laughs> Man, P Paddle, you're really making this whole protecting you all kind of difficult. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh. I, because my thing, my protection thing, only affects you if you're next to me, <laughs> and you're like one space back. <laughs> but I'm at disadvantage if he's right in front of me. Like if we're like, if, if he can hit me with his sword, I'm at disadvantage. Yeah, that's a big deal for me. Like, <laughs> okay, that is a problem. Okay, <laughs> I'm, telling, I'm sorry, man. Like I'm not a swordy ranger. Uh, okay, question, yes. question. So the shade can still move, like, next to me without without provoking an opportunity attack? Um... Yes. Yes. Okay. So... It just can't, it can't leave without spending a disengage. So I guess I should yeah. have said this before, I didn't think about it. If you hadn't attacked, you could have disengaged and moved back. I forgot. Yep, that. yep, I, I know that. I know that. It's so rarely done, I forget that it can happen. But, uh, so... So the shade could still reach pedal. I'm Unless a... I moved over, but then Elvira is. Or, well, wait. Who, who's up next in the... Where When does Elvira go? She goes after... She goes first. So, oh, okay. I'm, yeah. next I'm, gonna, to I'm gonna move over and block, kind of block the shade's path from getting to pedal. How valiant of you! You bring great oh, honor wait, yes. to your party. Anything else? <laughs> um, the shade has taken. Did I'm just checking? It did take one d four fire damage, right? Oh, thank you for reminding me. Well, it will on its turn. And I forgot to do it on his turn, so it evaporates. <clears throat> Thanks for reminding me. I would have forgotten to do that. So, so it's dead. It's it's dead. Do you want to repurpose your attack on a different shade? Since I forgot to kill it dead. Oh, that that was my bad. Um. Oh, I guess your roll would have still not hit. So never mind. Yeah. Sorry. Well, well. Okay, can I take back my action? <laughs> oh dear! If so I if out. I make a habit of doing that, things are going to get messy. So I'm going to have to say no. I'm sorry. Okay. So it's, I, it's I, not I, for it's not la for lack of liking you. It's for lack of uh, I know the things to derail. So I attack the air and miss, but <laughs> somehow kill it anyway. <laughs> It forgets that it, it forgot that it was already supposed to be dead. He was like, oh, wait, I'm it. supposed to be dead. It's like when the cartoon runs off the cliff but hasn't realized it's supposed to fall yet. <laughs> yeah. That brings us to All battle. Right. Yep. Uh, okay, I will once again bonus action move Hunter's Mark to the one between yes, yes, uh, me and the Brazer. Yeah. And I would like to roll to attack. I am surprised at how long this has taken. I really thought this would go faster. I gotta figure out. Or a natural 20. Whoa! I gotta figure out time balancing a little better. Do your double damage to this shade. <laughs> Hang on one second. Oh! Is that your double? Oh, wait. It, don't, it doesn't even okay. matter. You kill it in one shot. Uh, so that's 21 points of damage. How do you want to because do this? Because it's also double of Hunter's Mark. How do you want to describe its gr gruesome death? After missing on the last one, Petal was not pleased with the situation. 
And so this time, like, he really like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> really take my time, just like right through the flickery flame of his eye socket. And just, <laughs> Rubs a little bit of of uh, midnight purple flame, and the thing. <clears throat> This time, it, it dies in a slightly different ma matter. It kind of... <laughs> yeah. A little bit like the Witch King. Yeah, I'm definitely stealing that. <clears throat> well done. Well done, sir. All right, you got two shades left. Um, Neat. Um, I think I'm pretty pleased with my movement. I Actually... I'm going to move to here, just so I have a, another option. <laughs> um, Elvira and then Gary. So, Elvira. Um, own it. All right. You know what, what I, mean, I should do? Is I should say who's up and then who's on deck. So, whoever's on deck, when I say that, start thinking about what you want to do for your tag. Okay. You're not I, mean, I was going to do Fireball, but right. I didn't see me. Because... Because that'll speed things up, and then it, and, uh, battles will go a little bit, a little bit faster. I'm gonna move right here and then yep. shoot across the fire, for right. like this one. How do I click on it? Just click on it. Are you doing this one? No, I'm trying to do that one. Click and click and hold is ping, if that's what you're wondering. Oh, click and hold, not double click that one. Okay. No, you said double click. No, first it's the truth. <laughs> no, you said. No, you said. No, you said. <laughs> no, you. Thirty twenty, the hit. How does that do? Way to go. That hits. I only landed one, boys. These um. Oh, you know what? Just do me like that. One damage. One. <laughs> one damage. <laughs> Uh, well, it's it's more than zero. It's not a miss. <laughs> I'm sorry, Elvira. Uh, you, your blast comes close enough that it uh, it singes the shade, if that's even possible. It kind of uh, it kind of shrinks back a little bit. Oh, I intimidated it a whole it's, lot. It's discouraged. By five feet. <laughs> there you go. That's something you probably haven't heard before. Where are my shoulders and stand a little taller? Gary's up <laughs> next, and then Cassandra's on deck. The ghost takes right. five emotional damage. <laughs> emotional <laughs> damage! <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So. He's going to throw off the cobalt robe, and then he's going to run to the nearest shade, stab it, and then he's going to move next to Guy. Okay. I will just leave you well, right you're, you're all right. No. You see, Comrade Gary, in Soviet D&D, Guy moved next to you. <laughs> okay. Is there a shade directly in front of me? No. There, there can be with the movement you described, yeah. 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 So, stabby, I move stabby. to the nearest shade, grab it, We're gonna do it then move oh. back to Guy. Okay, All right, sorry. Yeah. I was confused. Alright. And I hate it. Yeah, um, did nothing. I, I actually didn't do anything is what I did. Oh, that is a shame. Because, hey, if it makes you feel better, Cassandra did the same thing. She whiffed it, too. It's just becoming a thing for this character, though. <laughs> okay, um, anyway. And the shades who have moved up at this point miss both their attacks, moves on to Guy, and then pedals on deck. All right, oh, I am. Way faster. I like this. Okay, so I, I can move around this shade without incurring penalties, right? Yes, because it moved. You haven't attacked. You could you could definitely disengage. Hang on, no, it hasn't fought. No, no, yet, no. So I, you can I move. Can... You can move. Yeah. No, as as long as you don't leave its contact, like as long as you stay within engaged range, 
you don't. Okay. Like you don't get an opportunity to. Uh, well, I'm going to move next to Elvira, and then I'm going to attack the Shane. What? Well, sorry, Dan, I didn't need to jump in there. No, no, I appreciate you clearing it up for me, because I always get confused by it, and so the clarification's really helpful. Okay, cool, cool. Hey, yeah. I, I haven't run enough D&D to have that stuff memorized yet. 15 hits? No, no, uh, 18. 18 definitely hits. Roll damage. Uh, three plus one d four fire for three. Are you attacking this one here? Uh, yes, I'm. Yes, that's the only one I can. I guess so. I just realized that. Um, sweet. What did you attack him with? Your sword? Yes. Okay, so he's gonna take one d three on his next turn. So better make sure to mark him. Good, good, good. <laughs> no, Pedals up. Uh, if, okay, so if he's if he's on fire, does that impose? Does that like give me advantage to hit him because he can't like see to dodge or something or or not? I don't think I, so. I have them getting disadvantage on their attack rolls. Okay, that makes that makes more sense. Cool, cool. Um, um, yeah, I'm gonna bonus action move Hunter's Mark to the that guy and do what I do best: longbow attack. And Elvira's on deck next. All right. That'll be a 13 to hit. Okay, that hits. Excellent. That'll be four points of piercing damage and five points of force of bludgeoning damage. Uh, he is so dead nine too. points total. Very dead. I would have you describe it, but maybe that might take a long time. <laughs> Same thing. Go to the dumb. Done. He is at least five dead. He's at least five dead. <laughs> uh, Elvira, you're in front of the last remaining shade. Right, I'm tired of these people. I'm going to go with the big guns this time. I'm, I'm going crazy, but I'm going to use Chaos Bolt again. Ooh. <laughs> um, and that's going to be a ooh, why? 10 to hit? I'm feeling generous. He's right in front of you. I don't know how in the world you miss when he's right in front of you and you get a 10. I just feel like you You missed. Like... How could you miss? He was three feet in front of you. You can hit him and do half damage. Let's just say that. Just cause I, I feel I'll, I'll, go, I'll go with that. I, I just want to. Uh, so let's see how I do this. Hold on. Let me roll full damage. Not make this a chore. You know? Um. Let's say it was 11. So I'll, I'll, go, with, I'll go with five. Um. Hold on. Let me pull up Chaos Ball. I know quick. that's not a D&D &D rule, but I don't really care at this moment. <laughs> I like it. Cool, cool. Five fire damage, so that works. Nice. Oh, sweet. He's on lucky. fire. I'm going to just act like you put Hunter's Mark on him, because I'm sure you will. Um, oh, she, she does not get Hunter's Mark. I don't get Hunter's Mark at all. Sorry, I meant, I meant uh, Pedal, but yes, it's probably a little early. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, sure <laughs> call. Um... Gary? Okay. There's uh, one shade left. The same plan as before. Uh, run up. Yep. Same plan as before. Run up, stab, run back. Let's see what happens. And it does an 11 hit. Um. Yes. Woo! <laughs> I do not damage. Uh, Nine he, silvery damage. How do you want to do this? <laughs> uh, Gary is going to jump up into the air and do like multiple. Like, he's going to spin and just slice several times through the little wisp. He's basically like doing that, like holding his arm out and then the other one like tight against him. So he can just spin real fast and hit the thing as many times as he possibly can going down <laughs> and then he's gonna land and just like hold the sword out and kind of like up and behind him all anime style <laughs> like an absolute weeb <laughs> um, me immediately upon the death it and as it shrivels and drops to the ground in that little puddle of fog uh you hear kind of like not 
not loud, but definitely audible, a whisper go through um, the entire uh, dungeon that you're in. And like this kind of bluish white, uh, I, I, the only way I could describe it is like wind blowing through towards you. Oh, comes to my domain. Leave now. I can't hear you. No. What'd you say? Should we tell him? <laughs> Do not seek <laughs> to love me. Um, first of all, I'm really glad we didn't rush down there and fight that one by himself. Right. Um, but do we want to bail on this? Because I kind of don't think so. I think this guy is more uh, bark than he is bite. That wasn't so bad. We can do I this. The other ones didn't talk. This one can be sassy. I'm not worried about the sass. I think we got it, guys. Petal thinks we can do it. I'll, I think we can. Oh, but, um, Sandra, real quick, though. What was that? Sorry, bud. Gary's going to look at Petal and just kind of hold up two oil flasks. He's not going to say anything. He's just going to, like, cobble them up like <laughs> Um, <clears throat> Petal, would you do a quick uh, perception check? me just you Absolutely. <laughs> that'll be a six <laughs> okay um i will apparent unless unless you are otherwise alerted i will let you know later it's nothing bad i figure it's fine i'm yeah. not worried about it okay cool um Kill me off, Dan. <laughs> you will do it. it's a tpk for sure <laughs> <laughs> I got a backup here. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I am so enjoying this. You guys have barely scratched the surface. So here's what... Do you, do you want a little hint? Do you want a little hint of what you should do? I can give you one. If if that's too much, too easy, then I won't. Well, ha, ha. Mm. Mm. I say no. Let's, let's, let's... I say no. Okay, or at then... least yes, maybe you roll for it. Oh, that's a good idea. I sorry, I just like I get a little too attached to the, to your characters, I guess. <laughs> uh, I can't hear you again. Dojo? No. Uh, uh, them. That. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just so don't don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> Yeah, we yeah, also that's... cannot hear Dodjo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, what else is no. new? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wait. We're, you're back Where's again. Up? No. You're back again. No, probably not. No, I hear you. <clears throat> okay, cool. Uh, Gary would like to tie the, not handkerchief, the bandana that he's got. And he's gonna tie it around his face, kind of like, kind of like to cover the lower half of his face, except for the fact that he's already got a skull cap that covers the top part of his face. Okay. So basically, okay. his face is entirely covered. Now. So you're going full rogue then? No. Oh, <laughs> partial rogue then. All right. Like cowboy pirate. Yeah. yeah. No. Boy, he just he pirate. Has a reason. But anyway. All right. No, he has a reason, but that's not it. <clears throat> so, Cassandra's going to ask around, is anyone seriously hurt? Ooh, my back is killing me. Oh. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> my hanging. back is killing me from carrying this team. <laughs> <laughs> she, she says, hang on, I can, I can cast Cure Wounds if, if you're hurt. 
no, 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 no. Just, just, just. Just dramatic. Just oh, joshing oh, you. Oh, okay. All just right. Just joshing you. All right. Any, just any, being obnoxious. I'm pretty it, good at it. Anyone, anyone injured? Uh, I'm, I'm not. No. Oh, actually, never mind. I am actually kind of hurt. I am. I'm kind of hurt. Pedal was. I think Pedal, you were the only one who actually took damage there. Yeah. Okay. Um, she's gonna take a second and cast Cure Wounds. Oops, I forget that I don't actually have to click that. Um, hang on a second. No, that's the wrong button, Dan. There's Cure Wounds, but why is why are there no wounding cures? There we go. Uh, you're gonna take four, uh, four points of health. No. I think you should lead the way in that healing damage. Healing damage. <laughs> four points of healing damage. <laughs> four points of healing damage. Pedal, your character sheet still shows that you're down at a pretty low number. Is that accurate? No, I'm at twenty. Okay, I'm gonna adjust that on D and D Beyond. I, I did. I think it just needs to like refresh or something. Ah, okay. Yep, that must have been it then. I got healed back to whole from back from when I was down to six. That was okay. in that first battle with the Minotaur. Gotcha. So you're currently sitting at twenty then. Yeah. Okay. She could <laughs> technically do it again. There is the risk it, if she rolls and gets a one, the staff disappears. I mean, let's not go risking it for that. Okay. That's not necessary. <laughs> if it was that bad, I'd, I'd spend a, a hit die and take a short rest, but I, I'm not worried about it. Okay, sounds good. She says, well, um, I think we ought to take the path you went down first, Pedal. It seems a little bit better. Maybe fewer uh, of those guys to kill. Yeah, I like that idea. Um, at least that way, they can, like, only, they can only come one at a time, right? Hmm. Yeah. Um. All right. And it's just be real quiet. We don't know where more of these things are, but it's just a short ways down this narrow part, and then it opens back up. We'll do. You guys want to? I think it's very reasonable to do a, an, a, an easy group stealth check. So if everybody rolls stealth, then. Um, Majority passing, then you're all stealthy enough. We'll just do it that way. Oh, Fourteen. Oh yes. Fourteen. Eleven. Eleven. Natural twenty. Natural. UK. Okay, oh. You're all fine. <laughs> hey, man. That um. Net one. No, you're good. You're good. We're doing a group, so your net one gets overruled. Okay. Cool. Um. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and move move as far as you had moved before, if you wish, okay. to the unexplored area. Okay. This is about as far as I got. All right. So you guys can filter down in there if you wish. Cassandra's going to come down. I'm sure Guy will. Um, I'm going to find this thing. Gary, who has dark vision... It can see that there's blood splatter on the ground if you go down that small tunnel. Wait, where, where are we? It looks like it opens up that way, too. So that's where the blood splatter okay. is. <clears throat> so Gary's going to tug at the nearest person's you know, clothing and then point at the uh, blood splatter. Okay. Um, as... As you guys are discussing that, um, you feel the rush of many wings fly over top of you as a swarm of bats comes out and flies past you. It doesn't attack you, but they were startled and they fly out. But they flew like they flew out all the way without triggering anything? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't trigger anything. They didn't hurt you. They just flew past. They were startled. Because we're getting near the uh, Dragonborn text wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> uh, no, there are no words of power in this game. Though there are in the Elder uh, Scrolls 5e edition, which I have yeah. now. I'm so stoked. I gotta play that sometime. That's gonna be so fun. <laughs> Gary has a power word. Oil. <laughs> <laughs> Oil! Psh. Suddenly, the USA appears. You don't need... You, you don't need... It's it's a, a, a single word uh, dragon shout for the flame breath. <laughs> it's oil. All he says is oil, and it summons the entire U.S. military. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to uh, pop down that narrow hallway and see what see what's on the other side. The one with the blood in it? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Before you do that, let me check something here. I want to like, be going slow and looking for traps and stuff. Okay. Is Elvira... Uh, uh, question, question. Is Elvira's detect magic still active? No. No, at this point, it's gone. It for 10 it's minutes. for sure gone. Okay. Uh, good question. Though. Um, If we can cast it rest, I can't... I'm running out of spell slots, but not too much. I got a, quite a few more with my feet. So... so... To answer Pedal's question real fast. One more, mm, one more time. Pedal, you see little holes in the floor and in the walls. No, I'm not. I'm doing it. Little holes in the floor and in the walls? Yep. They're definitely intentional. They're... That feels like a booby trap if I've ever seen one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're... Is this something I can, like, run and jump over? No, it's, like, 20 feet long. All right, well, I just... Do that. I'm sorry. What are you doing? That are you gonna jump it? By all means. Okay. So, oh, I gotta see. For a running jump, for a running jump, you can do uh, it's half of your movement speed without even having to roll, or at least that's what I was used to. And maybe I'm wrong, but either way, like 120 feet, just and then jump. Um, I think I'm it would be it would be sixty because you're not in combat. I'm fairly certain that you, that's okay, not how it works with five E. I have concerns about the height of this room because it's like ten feet tall. You'd have to you'd have to get some height in order to jump that far. I would think. I'll do this if you do. It'd be kind of it. Hmm. If you do an acrobatics check, we can do it with an acrobatics check. Okay. Uh, for the love of God. Um. Okay. Well, um, my bonus gave me more than my roll, so. Oh boy. Here we go. TK up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's 15 piercing damage. 3 HP. 3 HP. Oh, no. And he's still got to get out. Uh, Gary! You can do it, Gary, what did you do? <laughs> you are on the other side now. So, of the trap. <laughs> so, what do you want? He's just running uh, you win, robot. Oh, this is dumpster fire. Oh, love it. I hope you're not done. Oh my god. I hear you again. Wait, Gary, around, Gary, how many lives you got left there, bud? 